Hi friends! How are you today? It's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here with my little Yorkshire Terrier Ellie and we're gonna just have fun, do a card tutorial today, um, show you some fall things, how to make a little fall gift box, and um, just spend a little bit of time together. I'm so thankful that you stopped by today. Um, it's Wednesday, um, November 9th, 2022, and it's beautiful, beautiful fall weather. I hope where you live, it's beautiful fall weather for you. Here in San Diego, it's in the 60s, mid-60s, North San Diego County, Escondido is where I live. And it's in the mid-60s. It's been getting down to the high 40s at night. Just beautiful, beautiful weather. And we actually had some rain over the weekend, which was great. Um, let me see. I'm trying to check and make sure we're live here. I like to... Whoops. Something is... I'm just still in the checking mode. So thank you so much for popping on. Okay, I see that we've got some people. Marsha Long from Texas, good to see you. Pammy, good to see you from North Carolina. Um, Roz, I think, left me a message earlier today that um, she's in Florida and they were, she was concerned they might lose power because of that hurricane. So I'm going to look for her today and see if she makes it. Minda, good to see you from Hawaii. And Tina, good to see you. Aloha to Minda. So good to see you guys. Um, over the weekend, I'll just tell you some what I was doing over the weekend. I had a local class here in my, actually two, here in my stamping studio. I had some gals in the morning and some gals in the afternoon and we made some Christmas cards and we had a hot chocolate coffee and tea bar. And I posted a picture, I think you guys might have seen it. We had candy canes and marshmallows and actually the most fun thing was peppermint flavored whipped cream in a can. <laughs> we had so much fun with that whipped cream on the, on the hot chocolate and tea and everything. Oh my gosh, it was so good. So we just had a blast, and I was really, we had a lot of fun. Holly, good to see you. Um, this weekend, I'm going to on stage in Anaheim, California, up in Disney, near Disney World. Anthony, I'm glad you're on today. Oh, you guys, Anthony sent me the most beautiful card. I'm going to show it to you in just a minute. And Anthony, I was trying to message you, and... I don't think it's you. I think it's something about Facebook. I was trying to message you and tell you a thank you, Anthony, uh, for the beautiful card. And I don't know, I wasn't figuring it out on Facebook and on Messenger. So thank you so much. How fun to get a card from across the pond. Oh my gosh, I just loved it. And I'll show it to you guys in a minute. But okay, so I'm going to Onstage Anaheim. Now, Anthony, I know, I don't know if there's uh, an Onstage in London. Ellie settle just a minute. But um, there is an onstage in Vienna. I know. There's a, another demonstrator from here in Escondido. She's not um, on my team, but um, thank you, Anthony. But um, she flew all the way to Vienna. So I don't know. I didn't, I didn't have the courage to do that. So I'm going up to Anaheim. Uh, with a few of my a few of my demonstrators on my team, we're going to be up there, and we're going to have a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it, and all that to say, I won't be able to do a Facebook Live on Friday because um, we're going up on Friday. There's, do you want to get down, baby? Okay, she wants to get down. There's a special event on Friday evening for um, Silver Elite and Above demonstrators, which is me and a couple of gals on my team. So we're going up early for center stage is what it's called. So we'll be there on Saturday night and then all day uh, Friday night and then all day Saturday and we will make cards. We're going to see the new spring mini catalog. We're going to get to order some of this stuff. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to come back next Wednesday. I'm going to have lots of news for you guys. Okay. And I'll be posting um, from up there. So watch my Facebook page. And also I post over on Instagram. If any of you are over on Instagram, 
Um, I may, if I have time, I'll try to do a recorded video on Friday morning and post it, but I'm not 100% sure that I'll have time. Um, I'm going to try, though. It's, it's one of my goals to do that. Yes. Anthony, are you going to Vienna? Let me know. I know that you you know the one. It's in Vienna. I don't know how, how um, I don't know actually, you know, distance-wise how far it is from you. And I'm sure it would be expensive to go there as it is to travel anywhere nowadays. But it sure would be fun to go to Vienna. Um, okay, announcements. Um, announcements. Well, I've been telling you guys, oh, well, let's just look at the cards first. Let's look at Anthony's card. Let me switch you down. First, I got a beautiful one from Sue. So let's switch down to, um, down here and look at this beautiful one from uh, Sue LeBlanc. And she won one of the prizes um, from the Facebook, uh, Facebook Live. And I love, I just love the way the paper she used. This is the, um, oh gosh, Sun Prince. Yes, the Sun Prince, the beautiful Sun Prince paper. And that the stamp set that goes with it. Beautiful card, Sue. Thank you so much. And Anthony's card is just gorgeous. Thank you so much, Anthony. It's made with the Cottage Wreath stamp set and die set and I love the colors it's so fall it's a happy Thanksgiving card and you know they don't celebrate Thanksgiving there in uh, in London but Anthony was kind enough to remember that we do send Thanksgiving cards and we do celebrate Thanksgiving here in the US and so he sent me this card I'm so thankful I love it Anthony I just love it okay so let me see if I can I'm going to try something and see if we can, there we go. Okay, Allison, good to see you. Okay, so um, what's new and what's going on? I want to make sure I always show you the news. Um, yes, beautiful card, Anthony. Um, you guys know, the I've been talking about it, the beautiful Fitting Florets collection the beautiful designer series paper limited edition only through the end of December or while supplies last. Don't miss this. It's gorgeous. You'll definitely want it. Um, what else is in this collection? I, the, we've got the beautiful dies and coordinating stamp set framed florets. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. These will be continuing on. We'll be seeing these. I will get to see these this weekend in the spring mini catalog. Um, but anyway, um, the so these are not limit the limited edition, but they are gorgeous and you're going to want them. And then the framed and festive stamp set, which has the gorgeous um, sentiments for the holidays in a wonderful font. This is a limited edition. And then... The last limited edition item is the gold swirls. So pretty. And so I'm actually thinking that the paper and the gold swirls will probably go first. So if you want those, if you're interested, snag them fast. Snag meaning order. And I've got a link to how you order them. And then I have my special just through this Friday, um, which is my fancy fun fold card kit that I want you guys to um, to get. So I am offering my fancy fun fold card kit where you will make two of these fun fold cards. I will give you everything you need to create um, two of these. If you only place a $35, minimum $35 order in my online store before tax and shipping, and the link is up above for um, Facebook, down below for my YouTube friends, and I will send you everything you need plus a PDF tutorial. Um, if you place that 35 minimum $35 order, if you place a $50 or more order before tax and shipping in my online store, I will include the gold swirls. I, I got a bunch of them to send you guys. So I don't want you to miss out on that. And this is such a 
fancy fun fold. I had to show it to you. I made it the other day, so I do have a YouTube video on it. But if you want the PDF and all the supplies to make two cards, um, then that's how you get your kit is by placing an order in my online shop. Here's another variation where I actually tied a ribbon over here on this side because these ends stick out a little bit with this with this fancy fun fold. And so I tied a red ribbon over there. And the other thing I did on this one is I colored in the berries. Here's the, here's the card you're going to get um, all the supplies for. But all you need to do is color in the berries um, with the real red uh, Stampin' Blend. And look how pretty that looks. And then a non, a non um, Christmas card sample that you can make. You're going to get two of the Christmas ones. Um, but this is a sample using the um, framed florette stamp set and coordinating dies. And everything I send you in the kit assumes that you have the dies and the stamp set. So um, I don't do any die cutting because that would be way too much for me. Um, I just want to get out the kit to you with the PDF. So. It screams Christmas, it sure does. And Allison um, came to my card class, my local class over the weekend, and we made these cards. Yes, and that was so fun. And Allison, just a reminder, um, I had uh, something to give you, and I'm going to see, I'm going to leave it for you someplace over the weekend. Just a quick reminder. That's a little personal thing. Okay, so that's all the news. Now, today, what do I want to show you today? Today, we are going to make a fall, a Thanksgiving. It's just a thank you, okay? So overseas, over there, across the pond, in London, um, everywhere people need thank you cards and thank you gifts. And that's what we're going to do today is that we're going to make a pretty easy thank you card. And um, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to make it out of designer series paper. Um, and do a few special things with the designer series paper. Let me get the envelope. Here's the envelope. And we're going to use the Hello Harvest stamp set. And then we're going to make a gift box. We're going to make this gift box from some craft boxes that Stampin' Up! has, and we're going to decorate it like this. And then the prize for today, because, okay, this box fits four beautiful cards and envelopes. And so today's prize, if you want it, it'll be awarded ne um, next Wednesday on the 16th. If you want to start putting the word prize in your comments, you will get this box, including today's card and the other three. So it'll be filled with all four cards. Won't that be fun? I'm anxious to give this to one of you. So be sure you put the word prize in your comments. And let's get started, and I'm going to show you how to make this card and this fun uh, craft gift box. Because you know what? We are, I don't know about you, I'm sure you're the same. If you're a card maker, you like to give away cards. Give them as gifts. You like to send them to people, but also give them as gifts. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Carol. Good to see you guys. Diane. So let's get started making our card. And... For this fall thank you card, I am using, I hardly ever use Mary Merlot cardstock or ink. I don't know why it's such a gorgeous color. I got it out to make this card because it's the color that goes with the designer series paper and I thought, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me that I don't use this more? It's, it's beautiful. It's a deep wine color. It's just gorgeous. So this is the card we're going to make. Uh, the card base is four and a quarter by 11, so basically a half a sheet of um, cardstock, one of our eight and a half by 11 pieces of cardstock, and then scored at five and a half. And this is just a fun opening I've been making more of recently. You love that co color too, Marsha. Yes. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. And then, this is what I want to show you, is how to use our designer series paper to the maximum. Here is a piece. Um, I'm going to use Rustic Harvest designer series paper, and I checked right before I came on 
and it is available. Um, I wanted to make sure if you guys wanted to order this to qualify for my um, fancy fun fold card kit, this is available. And this is just one sheet of many. I've used some of the other sheets and they're beautiful. And I want to show you how, what to do with one of these because these are so gorgeous you can tell obviously that they're made to cut down the center and use sections for cards okay and that's what we're going to do but before we start i wanted to figure out how to decide what part of the designer series paper you're going to choose and i decided on this section right here so the way i did that is i took my uh, paper trimmer right here and I'm going to slide this in and I know already that I need a four that I want for this card a four inch wide piece of designer series paper and let me turn it let me see let me turn it um, well I wanted to try to show you I want to get it's just that my camera is a little not catching it I want to try to get this area because I think that's going to come right at four inches and that gives me two of the yellow flowers, the Daffodil Delight flowers. And so I'm going to measure it four and check and sure enough, sure enough that gives me two of the Daffodil Delight flowers. So I'm going to cut right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and just cut right down the center. I, I could measure it equal evenly perfectly at six um, inches because our paper is 12 by 12 but I don't need to do that because what I'm going to do is I don't want all of that to show because I want some yellow showing the daffodil delight to make it brighter I thought I would have a, on the uh, the card base of Mary Merlot I think I want some daffodil delight because it's it's just bright I don't know. I didn't want to make a dark card. I'm, I'm kind of in a bright mode. So I'm also going to cut some Daffodil Delight card stock. And I know I need that to be four by five and a quarter. And that will fit perfectly on my card base, leaving a nice frame of the Mary Merlot color. So let's just look there. Okay, isn't doesn't that just look so pretty together? I really like it. I'm actually, not, I was going to glue it down and then I remembered I don't want to because I'm going to put some ribbon around there. Um, Carol, you use it, you love it too. Yeah, we just don't use it often enough. So here's the thing. If I, you could put this, this paper right on top like that or trim it a little bit on each edge. But you know what? What I want to do is I want to cut around these flowers so that I have lots of room up here to put some ribbon. And so, plus I want to cut out this super cute little butterfly. So I can do this, but I've gone ahead and pre-done it for, for, our, for these purposes. Um, and then what I, what I did is I cut that, and then I decided how far down I wanted it to be, and I trimmed off the bottom, and I got this. And that's all you need to do is fussy cut up in here, fussy cut around the flowers. And you know, I don't think I did trim off my little bottom section there because I want that to come down a little lower. I think I left that for me to do with you while we're together. So let me trim off, take my paper trimmer and I'm gonna trim off a little of that base there. Let me see what I think about trimming off one inch. I'll do that and then let's see what we think. We'll just hold that on there. Yes, I think that's just perfect. So I trimmed off an inch on the bottom and then all I did is fussy cut right around here. And I really like the way that looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this and then I'm gonna tie my ribbon on. And here's the back of that paper. It's kind of like, it's like gray and white, little a little pattern, kind of like a little flower with leaves. Um, it could also be like some chicken feet or turkey feet. It looks like little chicken feet, doesn't it? I'm not saying that in a bad way. It just kind of does. 
Okay, so I'm going to pull this right down to the very bottom of my yellow section there and adhere that right on there. Doesn't it just look beautiful? I really like it. And then, because this is one of my favorite ribbons and it looks gorgeous with Daffodil Delight cardstock or anything Daffodil Delight, I'm going to go ahead and tie a bow of the black and white gingham ribbon. Now, I when I did check to see if the Designer Series paper was available, I saw that this ribbon is um, out of stock right now. It'll be back. They're, they expect to have it in on November 14th, which is about, it's next Monday. That's coming up pretty quick. So they're not going to be out of it for very long. I'm telling you, I have one roll left and I think I got six to begin with because I knew I would love it. So if you like it, I suggest getting it. And you know what? It looks beautiful with real red too. It looks gorgeous with real red for Christmas. And I'm going to be making, you can be sure, real red cards with this beautiful black and white gingham ribbon. I just love it. Okay, let me get that little section in, tie our bow, and pull up the little tails there. I just think this adds a lot to the card. I think it looks really cute. So let's pull that, and then we're almost done with the card. It's a really easy card. When you use a designer, whoops, when you use a pretty designer series paper, there's not much else you need to do. Look at how gorgeous that looks. Isn't that just so pretty? Let's tie, let's trim up our little tails a little bit. I think that one, I got that one a little bit too long. Just like that. Okay, there we go. There's our pretty bow. And I'm just going to adhere this, the whole panel now with multi-purpose glue. I'm telling you, that I'm, I'm already excited for this coming weekend because what I'm thinking about is the pretty new spring designer series papers. That is one of my very favorite things. I love so much about Stampin' Up! But designer series papers are some of my favorite things that I really love. Okay, there's our card. Now, our card front, let's do a tiny bit of stamping. We need to stamp an envelope and the inside of our card. When you have a dark color of a card base, you always need to put a white piece inside. And I usually cut my white inside uh, pieces at five by three and three quarters. And I'm gonna use, I didn't even show you the stamp set. Hello Harvest. And it is a distinctive stamp set, and this leaf is really pretty. So I decided to do this leaf. Just put the little leaf in the corner. It's okay if it's light and dark. I mean, it's fall. It's supposed to be. Um, it's supposed to be a fall leaf that doesn't have all of its real colors because it's the tree is shedding all of its leaves, right? And look at how pretty that Mary Merlot ink goes with that, you know, coordinating ink and coordinating cardstock, gorgeous. And then let's just put a leaf on our envelope here. Stamp a little bit more there. There we go. We'll try to get that darker. There we go. Isn't it? I, I mean, for as fall leaves go, that's a great one. All right, now we can just add a little bit more to our card. We need to add a sentiment. And so, well, I can get my ink back out. I wanted to add the sentiment grateful. I was looking for a thin, um, a thin sentiment. And you know, you could just combine your stamp sets. Here's the country wreath stamp set that Anthony used to make that pretty card for me. And it has this sentiment, grateful. And I just think it's, at Thanksgiving time, it's a really nice sentiment. Instead of just plain thanks or thank you, it it's 
just an, a little different word that expresses the same thing. So I'm going to stamp it right here on a little half inch strip of basic white. Let me try that again. It's, it's not bad, but it might not be quite as even as I want it to be. Let's see. Ah, I like that one better. We're just perfectionists. We stamp makers, card rather card makers. Um, we all like to get it perfect. And if it's not perfect, we cover it up and put a perfect one right on top, don't we? The yellow is Daffodil Delight, Sandy. Yes, I should have said that. Carol Schaefer, good to see you. So I'm just going to trim. Um, I'm going to flag the end, okay? That means cut down the center and then cut from each end to the center. That is what we call a flagged end. And I, I like to do that. I think it's kind of, it just adds a little interest there. So we're going to go ahead and put a, I think we just need one stamp and dimensional for this sentiment. We'll just put one dimensional right on there. Just raise a little something up on our card. And now the last thing for the card, and then we'll go on to the box, is a little butterfly. And if you were paying attention, you recognize these little butterflies from the designer series paper. Let me show you. See how they have these cute little butterflies in here? I just I just snipped one out using my um, my paper snip scissors and I'm going to raise it up on a little mini dimensional because it's just so cute. And you know, really Stampin' Up! has done all the work. All we do is cut and glue. They really have done everything. Isn't that just cute? And we've got our envelope to go along with it. Very cute fall card. You could definitely uh, make five or so of these to give for Thanksgiving or for, for the fall. And now let's create that box I was telling you about. Okay, so what we're going to use is craft gift boxes from Stampin' Up! And here's what they look like. I didn't even know until today that they fit four, it probably could fit four to six of our cards um, to give as a gift. And it has this window. So you could, I'm pretty sure that it's food safe. I didn't look that up, but I think it's food safe. And it, it just, it's already made for you pretty much. All you do is fold and stick it together. And we're just going to do a tiny tad bit of decorating, okay? It has all the score lines. You just fold them and burnish them with your bone folder. That makes sure that'll make your box lay down and close a little bit nicer. I mean, this is going to be a great box for cookies. Here I've had, I've got two packages of these. I've had them for a while and I haven't even played with them. Do you ever have that happen where you've got stuff in your cupboard and that you bought and you didn't even get it out and try it out? Silly. The nice thing about most of the Stampin' Up! Uh, boxes and treat containers is that they already have the adhesive on them, which is very nice. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to do a little bit of stamping here on the front. I want this to coordinate a little bit with the card that's going to be in the front of the box. And so I'm using a stamp from the Hello Harvest set. I'm going to use that little sunflower. And here it is. And I'm just going to I'm just going to get it in that Mary Merlot tap and just stamp just a little bit all around on my box here on the front of my box and of course you want to do it before you put your box together I made the mistake of putting a box together and then I thought oh I want to stamp it so I set it to the side I'll use it later for something else so there I've got that ready to go now the next thing I want to do is I also want to stamp grateful on a little 
strip. I think this might be, I think it's bigger than a half. It might be a three quarter inch strip of the same Rustic Harvest Designer Series paper. But because I'm gonna give the box as a gift to one of you who put prize, um, I'm gonna give the box as a gift. And so I want to have the word grateful on the box. So I'm gonna stamp the sentiment again right in the center of a little strip of the designer series paper and I know already that this color is crushed curry. This is a piece of that designer series paper but the color is crushed curry. And rather than put it on the outside, I'm going to put it on the inside of the box, at the edge on each side of the clear area. So to do that, I'm going to use my stamp and seal plus and just put a little sticky stuff just on each edge. Just a tiny little bit of a strip. And I like Stampin' Seal Plus because it does hold pretty strongly. I like to use it on my 3D things. So now I'm just gonna lay my box right down there and press and voila! The sentiment stayed, look at that. Isn't that kind of cute? Now all we have to do is put our box together. So we just take off the little um, the little covers on the sticky stuff here. And I'm gonna just start putting my box together. It's really easy. You just wanna make sure you get the, the ends lined up there. Just like that and then um, we do that a couple more times here I mean it's so easy and you don't even have to go out and get treat boxes you know if you like to make cookies and stuff like that this is just such a perfect um, just a perfect box for you for gift giving let me see how many come in a in a package. Let's check that out. You can see right down here, you get 10. 10 in a package. So that would be, well for me anyway, that would be plenty. I can say that much. To make 10 little boxes of cookies. Or you could make 10 little boxes of cards. Um, I think it would be too thin for brownies. It would have to be something thin like brittle maybe. I'm sure you guys can think of a lot of fun things to put in here. And it's, it just goes together easy. Look at that. Boom. Okay, there's my box. Just gonna push those sides in a little bit. And there it just closes right, right up. Just like that. Let's see. Oops. That little guy came off. I don't think I pushed in hard enough. I'm going to use my bone folder to push a little bit harder. Okay, so now we're ready to put our cards in. And I'm just going to put this one for now because <clears throat> I've got the others in the other box. And I think this looks really cute inside of there. And then I've got a couple more little butterflies to put on the outside. Here's my other little butterfly. I cut these again. I cut these right out from the designer series paper and I'm going to use some glue dots this time to put on the outside of the box. Just going to fold that back and stick my butterfly right over that glue dot and then it adheres perfectly and just put it right down there. I think I might pull up his little wings a little bit, kind of like that. And then this is kind of like a little sideways butterfly, a little side view of a butterfly that was also on that designer series paper. I'll just have that one come down. There you go, isn't that kind of cute? They're available now, Marsha. Yes, they are. Um, 
They're called craft gift boxes and the item number is sometimes on here. 156569. You could get this in my online store and um, if you purchase $35 worth of product before tax and shipping, you would uh, qualify for my um, fancy fun fold card kit and I'll send you two of everything you need to put that card together that we showed in the beginning. So this is our fun box for today and card, matching card um, for Thanksgiving and all using just mostly designer series paper. Really easy. That went together. I think that took us 15 minutes to put together both items. And that's what I love. When you use the beautiful designer series paper, you have a beautiful product, pro project rather. So let me come back up here and we will award a prize. Okay, so the prize for next week is the first box that I made that is full of today's card plus three others. And this is ready to go. And so I will award this next Wednesday on the 16th. And so put the word prize anytime between now and you know midday on the 16th, about an hour before I come on live is when I pull the names. And I'll award that then. The, the prize from last week, well, I wasn't even showing it to you. I thought I was, <laughs> I was thinking you were still seeing it. Um, okay, so the prize from last week is a neat little package of three by three envelopes for all your gift giving needs. Um, little Cute little gift envelopes. You just cut a six by three piece of cardstock, fold it in half, decorate it, and stick it in these cute little envelopes. And the winner from last week on this on the second was Tammy Hogue. Tammy, congratulations! I will get this cute little package, forty gift envelopes. For you can use this for the whole season. These cute little envelopes. So congratulations to Tammy, and I will get this to you. And then don't forget about my um, actually my my card kit offer my. F fancy fun fold card kit offer ends on Friday the 11th at the end of the day so anything you if you use my host code which is shown up above or below for you two people use my host code place a $35 minimum order before tax and shipping and I will see your name I will send you um, everything you need to make two of these you it assumes you have the dies so you do the die cutting um, and I send you a PDF tutorial. So all for 30, your $35 order because I like to reward you guys and I thank you so much. If you place a $50 order, you get all of that plus a package of the fun gold swirls. So have a wonderful rest of your week and I will be going to onstage. Are any of you that are um, de um, demonstrators going to onstage in Anaheim? Let me know. Email me, Peggy at prettypapercards.com, because I will look for you there. I'm excited, and I'm excited to see some of my friends. So have a wonderful week, and if I, I probably won't catch you on Friday because I'll be up in Anaheim, but I will see you next Wednesday on my next Facebook Live.